guys let's have a look into this stock this makes me so 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 happy i mean 816 dollars as of the close of thursday evening which made the stock price look like an absolutely fairy tale and the market cap of 773 billion dollars it's just this absolute crazy achievement which is now reflected into the stock price as well and i think we are just warming up i mean we are warming up with elon musk as the richest person on earth and there's actually two more things that i need to show you right now so actually let's have a look into the last week we gained <laughs> we gained over 16 17 percent and you know it's just incredible those tesla calls that i bought just a couple of months which i shared with my community you know because my community is so important to me the members uh, that you can get in two ways you can actually you know become a member when you go on x10masterclass.com and sign up for the course where you learn how to you know find the x10 stocks like tesla we were one of the first communities out there here on youtube worldwide that talked about about this crazy company or you can press the join button and uh, have a monthly subscription you know it's up to you but i would love to see you on the other side because the, this kind of gains uh, you know it's just and i'm not selling guys i bought this tesla call options for the long term those are very special one why i think that this is even an advantage for the investor than the traditional us call options you know this kind of things i share there as well in my discord chat so it's really worth to check it out so what we are doing in the last couple of four weeks which would be since the 9th of december we gained over 27 percent and this is just amazing the pre-market looks already crazy as well we are more than 4.5 percent in the positive already with 853 dollars and uh, Elon Musk is also you know quite uh, reminding us what is going on if we are looking up his uh, where was it I think he unpinned the specific tweet but i remember it as it was uh, like yesterday he said like he want to take his wealth this was a tweet by 2018 he want to take his wealth and split it in two things one is to make life better here on earth with you know in a sustainable energy uh, better transportation and on the other side he want to make humans a better species and an interplanetary species so that's why he want to make a city on mars so this that's what i love about elon musk but let's dive into the stock chart all right we are just recording this before the market closes on friday so as you can see the stock just i mean just the last five days were absolutely insane i mean look what is the crazy change in the 50 moving average just because of this outbreak same with the 200 moving average so here you can see that also technically obviously the stock gets more and more of support so here you can see the 50 moving average is now at 865 you have the 200 move average at uh, 800 right obviously the current situation is giving us a situation of an overbought a little bit of an overbought i would say flavor okay because look at this we were also a little bit overbought here uh at 71 rsi now we are at 84 rsi you know so you can see here that uh, always when we reach this kind of levels we gave a little bit up but this was just temporary until we went higher and higher plus we have just this momentum when a stock can go it goes and goes and goes it can go to thousand there can be a tesla mania and you know maybe they announce the second stock split and we see something totally out of this world i cannot tell you what will happen but it can become very very crazy so here you can see also 
back on uh, New Year's Eve, uh, the stock or just beginning of the new year, the stock exited also the Bollinger Brands, which also is a sign that it should come down a little bit here. So in all in all, I see here, obviously a great, um, a great, great run. But uh, as far as this goes, you can see the trend here is absolutely insane. I, I mean, let me just figure this out here, what we could see here, maybe something like that, all right? I mean, if the stock would continue like that, guys, right? I mean, a little bit up, a little bit down, up, down, up, down. Then by end of February, we would have at least $1,000 per stock up to around $1,200 per stock, okay? So, uh, yeah, if this will really happen, I don't know, but uh, there is a couple of catalysts over here uh, for the stock as well. This is very important, obviously, right? The numbers, the uh, further guidance for the, this year, uh, news about Gigafactory in Germany, what about the Gigafactory in Texas, what about the Gigafactory in China, what about the Cybertruck, what about the semi-truck? You know, the, the list just goes on and on and this kind of momentums are really dangerous, especially for the short sellers, obviously. Uh, but uh, I feel that, uh, you know, it could go on for a while like that. It's obviously always depending on the situation, what is going on also in the overall stock market. We have seen we had some political issues, uh, which didn't really impact the stock market. But I think the new president will also give the stock a little bit of a push. The inauguration is in just 12 days. So uh, let's see when they come into, you know, the White House. And then it's the question of, yeah, what is the plan for EV in the future in the US, right? This is something that is bullish for Tesla, guys. Then we have the other factors that we just talked about. So it could go either way, right? I mean, Amazon, Netflix were by fundamentals or by valuations also always overvalued until they are changing the world and then people backwards saying well you know it makes sense so let's talk about if tesla four thousand dollars is a bubble the four thousand pre-split price tesla bubble or we are not in the bubble or maybe we are I want to discuss this with you and I want to continue to discussion either in the Discord channel or you are just writing here a comment below, please, after you smash and subscribe, obviously, and ring the bell. But let's dive further into the contra part, okay? I want to talk about why Tesla could be a bubble as of now. So first of all, we need to understand money is very cheap. So there's a lot of money coming to the market. Then the second point, I think there's a lot of new investors that are just hopping on and with the idea and with the mindset, hey, the stock made already 700%. I don't want to lose the next 700%, but they don't interested into the company. They don't interested into the overall fundamental advantage that Tesla has over the long run. But let me show you a clip which is months, 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 months ago of Katie Wood of ARK Invest who predicted the $4,000 mark. And we thought this will take years, but it came much more closer. Have a look what she said and why she explained that Tesla will be a fantastic company. During the commercial break, we were mentioning that there's a Tesla now in space. Yes. You like Tesla. Love Tesla. It's uh, one of our largest holdings, largest in our overall fund. Uh, we think that uh, if if Elon Musk, SpaceX, can do uh, what they did yesterday uh, in space, right, they're going to be able to produce the Model Three. Um, but they're different companies. The, the yeah. whole it's a whole different business. Same brain trust. Same do you think? By the trust. way, do you eventually it's want rocket Tesla? Science. Do you, rocket do you eventually science. want Tesla and SpaceX to merge? Uh, no, I kind of like th things the way they are right now. I like the focus. I right. like the focus. But, but in the Tesla story, and the, um, you know, we also keep looking at that stock with one big question. If it walks and talks like a car, it must be a car. And so it has four wheels, it drives around, all cars will be automated, 
with AI eventually, GM will. Everybody else trades at a 15 to 16 multiple. They trade as if every car is being shot to the sun at some stratospheric number. Yeah. Which happens first? All GM goes to a 300 PE or Tesla goes back to 16? Because one of those two has to happen. No. Um, well, explain that part. GM there. is a call option on the future. The future is electric. GM's not electric yet, right? It's the internal combustion engine all the way. Uh, uh, the future is transportation as a service, software as a service. Uh, you need software engineers for that. GM has great engineers, but they're hardware engineers. They had to go buy cruise automation to get those software engineers in Silicon Valley. Then you've got a, a so you've got two big model changes: uh, electric software as a service, gross margins going from 20 to 25, which is the hardware model, to 85, 90 percent, which is the software as a service model. Completely different DNA. Uh, this is where Tesla is going. There's a third problem GM has. It's called distribution. Uh, by law, in many states, uh, auto companies cannot do over-the-air. Uh, updates. Uh, Tesla has been doing that regularly. It updates, it improves performance, it corrects mistakes, flaws. Uh, GM cannot do that and is really going to have to go maybe through cru cruise automation and rebuild a company, right? And even if they were allowed to do it by law, how do most uh, uh, dealerships get their uh, profits? It's service. What? Are these, is GM going to alienate its dealers? I don't think so. And as you can see, it's very, very much the same what we are saying for months here on this channel, right? We saw it when Tesla was $178 per share and you could, you know, 10x, 15x, almost 20x your money. And therefore, I'm super excited about the future because I think there's the following arguments that Tesla is not a bubble. First of all, it can become the largest company on earth in terms of revenue, in terms of impact, in terms of the unbelievable innovation in so many areas, guys, about the power grid, about the transportation, about the self-driving, about, you know, solar. There's so many ways Tesla to succeed and eventually they will succeed in all of this. And we were saying the same when they started with the Model 3 and there were so many voices out there. There's still so many voices out there that said Tesla is doomed, but they are not. And we are just getting warmed up. So I'm super happy that you joined here on Tesla Sundays. And I'm super, super, super wishing you the best Sunday ever. Check out x10masterclass.com if you want to continue that and find the next Tesla. And don't forget, maybe the next Tesla is Tesla.